Hello everyone, it's I, Rocker99, and today is all about the Bull Shark. Welcome you back to our top planet. Alright, the highly dangerous Bull Shark. Now this shark has basically have been the speculation of many fears and sharks when people, and they are one of the top three most dangerous sharks in the oceans that are responsible for attacks on people. You have the Great White, the tiger shark and next up in line is the bull shark which is tend to be the most aggressive of the three now bull sharks can be found in many waterways basically inhabiting both north america south america africa and australia now unlike other shark species these guys can be both uh, range in the open ocean basically on shoreline tropical shorelines but unlike other sharks they can have the potential to come into fresh water Basically, to um, basically to hunt down their prey, they can also be found in fresh water, basically in fresh water and brackish water, basically coming into canals areas that could does connect the open ocean, which definitely provides a gateway for bull sharks to come in and out, either to like raise, either like to give birth to the pups or for hunting. So these sharks can be found in close proximity to people, what can make them even extra dangerous, especially swimming in the canal that connects to the open ocean, and you're not knowing there's a bull shark swimming in there, you are in potential danger. Now, adult bull sharks can go up to around 7 to 11 and a half, almost 12 feet long. They can be identified from their gray coloration. They have a dark tip fins and also dark stripes. Bull sharks tend to be the most aggressive of the three sharks because they do have high testosterone levels that do make them aggressive. But basically, attacks on people do tend to be very rare, but they do happen as the sharks tend to be like a misidentification when like they're prime for the natural prey. But especially if even it's like an accident, you still be worried for bull sharks being in the same vicinity because due to high test testosterone levels, they can be very aggressive. So you just have to be wary. If you do want to see a shark in the ocean, like exit the water immediately, tell somebody. That way, you'll ever know like the beaches cannot be accessed until the shark is either driven away or taken care of. Bull sharks tendly don't basically see us as food. We're not necessarily part of our natural diet, but their main food generally consists of sharks, other sharks, dolphins, and fish, especially mullets. Now, bull sharks who have an interesting hunting strategy, their name bull shark comes with a reason. Just like the bulls let the ram into stuff, basically as self-defense, bull sharks will ram into their prey, basically immobilizing it before they finish it off. So basically, they, what they do is that they will basically, when they choose them to target, they will swim very at high speeds and bash into their prey, and basically immobilizing it and basically leave them to like, almost kind of like it, it won't be able to swim away. And these are sharks the opportunity to basically eat their prey. Now, that hunting strategy alone is what gave bull sharks their name because they will really smash into their prey before they kill and eat it. All right, so like I said before, bull sharks do tend to come further in, like kind of like tributaries or like in their canals, basically not for hunting reasons, but basically as a nursery for their pups. Now, female bull sharks will have up to around one to about 13 pups um, per brood. So basically they will leave, leave their pups and basically in a safe area where other predators cannot have access to them that will be able to grow up and basically uh, basically enhance their hunting strategies before they're old enough to travel back into the open ocean. So basically even a small bull shark can cause a little bit of damage because like a almost kind of like a almost like a two and a half three foot juvenile can still cause some damage. It can still like take a finger. You still do not want to be bitten by a bull shark of any size. The adults will be a lot worse. The juveniles, it'll still be a, a bad experience, but it's still something you do not want to be in the receding, receding enough. There have been attacks on people in numerous areas, um, basically from North America all the way down Australia. There have been attacks on people but they do tend to be very rare, but it does not mean the incidents have not happened. So like I said, if you swim in the beaches, you do see a sign that there are sharks that patrol these areas, be mindful of the signs, be mindful where you're swimming. And if you do see a shark, do not enter the water, like tell everyone who's at the beach, you do see a shark fin patrolling the area, let everybody know that way they exit the water, that way hopefully the shark might be able to take off somewhere else, and that would make it a lot more safe for everyone else. Alright, so that is the bull shark. If you enjoyed the video, put the like button. If you have any questions, put in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my content. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my content. Follow me on social media. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.